Hey everybody, here we are again. It's a Friday. We've got just a nice little small garage we're doing undercover. I came down yesterday, got it all prepped, got the styrofoam down, the wire, the rebar, the ISO strip on the edges. 2424. So here we go. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about pricing on a job like this and, you know, how I quote things when a, when a regular customer calls what? me up and they just need a quote, whether it's over the phone or through an email or through a text, just so they have a number to give their customer, you know, how I quote these types of jobs. This one, I'll go over, you know, what I charge per square foot for labor. Most of the stuff I do is per square foot. Some of it is per lineal foot. I don't generally charge out by the yard on jobs, even though a lot of people do, but I like doing it by the square foot. Um, so I'll, I'll tell you what my labor rates are for the prep, for the square foot to pour, finish, and saw. You know, we the cost of the styrofoam, the cost of the wire, doing the rebar, doing the ISO strip around the edges. So I'm gonna run by, you know, I'm gonna run it by you just to show you how I, estimate a job like this for a customer so they can give their customers a price on it here in a minute. So stay tuned for that. This garage floor had a set of engineered plans we had to go by. You know, it called for the two inch styrofoam, called for the slab bolsters under the wire to hold it up. Called for the ISO strip. We had to put those, we had to drill and pin those rebar dowels in the front doorways. So that was all on the spec. Most garages we do up here don't have a spec like that, but for some reason this one's just an engineered job. And that's what they wanted, so that's what we gave them. Alright, so when I figure things by the square foot, when I'm giving people square foot prices for these jobs, you know, I have a, I have a square foot price for labor, I have a square foot price for materials, depending on what I'm doing. So in this in this instance, you know, I had to come down here and do the prep. I had to lay the styrofoam. I had to lay the wire. I had to put the slab bolsters down. That's the stuff that's under the wire, holding the wire up off the styrofoam. I had to put the ISO strip around the outside edge. So all that stuff is figured into the cost. And the labor rate I charge per square foot, you know, it includes both the cost of the labor and the profit in there both. So that's where the profit comes in. And the uh, square foot prices for the materials, you know, things like styrofoam and concrete and wire, you know, those square foot prices also have a little bit of margin built in with them, so it's not like the exact cost. I have to charge a little bit more, so there's a, call it a tiny bit of profit, call it a tiny bit of safety, whatever you want to call it, but just for price fluctuations sometimes. Um, so the labor rate to come down here and just do the prep, you know, that's a that's an extra day for us. You don't come down and do it the same day we pour. Is three dollars a square foot, you know? So three bucks a square foot. It's five hundred and seventy-six square feet. So that's almost, you know, that's like seventeen hundred bucks right there, just to come down and the labor to do the prep. And then the styrofoam, the cost of the styrofoam for me to go get it, haul it down here lay it, install it, that's about, I charge two bucks a square foot for that. And then the wire mesh and the slab bolsters, you know, for me to, for me to go pick it up, bring it down here, lay it down is a dollar a square foot for the wire and the slab bolsters. The concrete itself, you know, at four inches thick, you know, these prices, square foot prices are based on four inch thick concrete. So for a 3,500 pound mix, fiber mesh, uh, the water reducer, I figure that at two bucks a square foot. And then my labor to come down here and pour, finish, and saw this, you know, because that's another day. So, and, and basically, we just leave one guy here to finish it and saw it, is three bucks a square foot to come down here and pour, finish, and saw. And that's figuring us leaving one guy. Then the, the other two of us go into another job and either 
pouring something else or we're getting something else prepped for another pour so it's not like two guys are going back home and doing nothing we're still working making money doing something else and then to do the iso strip around the edge that white foam that we glue on around the outside edge i i charge that by the lineal foot and i get three dollars a lineal foot for that that includes the cost of the product and you know the labor to put it on and a little bit of profit in there with it and then as far as like those little rebar pins you saw i had to put in in front of the garage doors you know i'll basically just charge that out at double what the cost of the rebar was so if it cost me a hundred bucks for a few sticks of rebar i'll charge that out at 200 bucks just to do that so let's figure that up for the total square footage and what the total cost was on this all right so 24 by 24 garage is 576 square feet i always go by outside dimensions i don't go by inside dimensions so the labor rate for the prep remember was three bucks a square foot and then the pour finish and saw was three bucks so the total for the labor which includes the cost of the labor and the profit six bucks a square foot give you the total there 3456 the cost of the two inch styrofoam two bucks a square foot is what i charge so 11.52 cost of the wire mesh and slab bolsters a dollar a square foot so there's 576 the cost of the four inch thick concrete 3500 psi concrete i think we had like seven and a half yards here two bucks a square foot so 1152 for that and then that gets me to a total square foot charge of 11 bucks a square foot so 6336 would be the 11 bucks a square foot and then on top of that they wanted the iso strip and those rebar pins drilled in it's kind of hard to do that by the square foot sometimes so i have to break that out a little bit differently and the cost and the labor you know for the iso strip i get three bucks a lineal foot the iso strip cost me maybe maybe a dollar a lineal foot so the profit and labor and that is two bucks a lineal foot so 240 bucks for that and that literally might take us i don't know 15 minutes to put that stuff on there and then the rebar you know to bring to get the half inch rebar put in those doorways to drill it down in and then bend it over you know it might have cost me 100 bucks for the rebar so and that again that took probably 10 or 15 minutes to do that so 200 bucks for that so the total cost that I gave this guy to do this garage floor was 6776 just to give you guys an idea so uh, a 2424 garage with all the same uh, materials as this one it should give you you know roughly around seven thousand bucks for a floor like this so anyway guys you know let, let me know down in the comments if you got any questions about that cost labor or profit anything like that I can try to help you with and if you like if you if you charge out differently than me let me know down in the comments too so let me know how you charge out like this is it for the yard or is it a different way and we can discuss that down in the comments also guys so anyway i'll talk to you down there in the comments about that hey guys so if you want more help with estimating pricing jobs doing that you know figuring out profit margins and stuff like that you know, join the Concrete Underground. I got a link for it down below, and I'm in there all the time. Uh, we can go over different projects, whether it's stamp concrete, patios, pool decks, walkways, repairing concrete, uh, even epoxy floors. But we do all kinds of stuff, and I've been I've been pricing jobs. I've been in this I business for 42 years, so I can help you out in there with hopefully whatever you need. Uh, the link for the Concrete Underground is down in the description, guys. So if you want to check that out. If you want help pricing stuff, just go ahead down there and join that, and I can talk to you in there. Thanks, guys.
Thank you.